Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the scroll up icon with a while scrolling in view element trigger. Let's see how this looks. When we scroll down the page, we're going to have this pop up and then we are going to have our Lottie icon animating with scroll. Cool. Nice effect. All right, let's see how this is built. First, let's go into Navigator. First, let's go into Navigator and let's see what we have working on here. We have our scroll up trigger. This is set to absolute with a height of 75 viewport height, set to absolute at a negative 1z index. The reason we are setting it like this is so that we can exactly customize the size and the placement of this scroll trigger. We can make the height larger, we can move it up on the page more, and it doesn't matter because it's not going to affect any page content. It's going to be separate, the user can't click on it, we can't even click on it in Designer, we have to access it here in the Navigator. And then we have our scroll up wrapper. This is going to come in the scroll up wrapper is going to come in on this scroll into view. If you watched the video on scroll into view, the scroll up, scroll into view, we're using the same exact element trigger here for this scroll up wrapper. And then we are taking our Lottie icon, scroll up icon, and we are going to have our while scrolling in view. And both of these actions are controlled by the scroll up trigger. Let's see how this works in interactions. First, let's go into the scroll in view, scroll up circle. When this scrolls into view, the scroll up trigger, we're going to scroll up, circle into view, scale and scale. We're going to scale initially to zero, it's nothing. And then when it comes into view, we are going to scale to one, which is its normal original state inside Designer. We also have this move set to negative 50 and negative 50. We're doing this because there is a transform CSS property applied to the element. If you wanna know a little bit more about that, I go into more detail in the scroll into view example of scroll up. But we're going to keep this move as is it's not changing state and we're doing it because we're interacting with scale, which is also a transform property. Okay, so this scroll is into view and then when it, this trigger scrolls out of view, we are scaling back to zero and the move is going to remain the same. Great, so that's the circle. Now let's get into the juicy part, which is the Lottie icon animation. So when we go into while scrolling in view, we go into our scroll progress, and we see that as we scroll through, our Lottie icon is going to start animating at 0% and scroll and animate up to 53. So let's move this up because we can't see what's going on. And let's get back to the interaction. Since we have that negative one set Z index, we can't click on this from designer. So we need to go into Navigator. Here we go, scroll into view, let's get back in. And we have this animating nicely throughout our trigger, great. We have a lot of flexibility here with the timing, with the speed with a scroll up trigger set to absolute, we can place it anywhere on the page. We can set our scroll actions to anywhere inside of this sequence and we can start it much earlier. Cool, great. And you can play around with this. You have a lot of options here. You can just do the arrow pulsing. You can do the full mouse draw out with the arrow pulsing, it's totally up to you. There's a lot of flexibility with this icon. And that's it. We have this one animation and we are going to tell the user to scroll back up on the page. That is how you implement the scroll up icon with while scrolling in view element trigger. 
That's effin' sweet.